I need Slow King to get the attack off, please. Please. What is up, boys, girls, and everyone else? James back here today with some more VGC Stadium Ladder. Today is the final day we're going to be using this Galarian, Slow King, and Lilligan Sun team. If you want to try the team, the rent code is available two weeks to grab it while you can, as well as a pace bin. But yeah, we are going to be going at it one more time. We'll see if Slow King will be able to put in some more work, hopefully with Lilligan as well. Who knows? We will find out though. But if you do enjoy the videos, of course, leave a like down below, leave a comment down below, share this video with friends. If you enjoy the videos, it really does help me out and go a long way, especially if you enjoy the content. But otherwise, yeah, today's comment question, be sure to answer it in the comments down below, is going to be, if you could give any existing Pokemon a Galarian form, I think I've talked about this before, what Pokemon would that be? And I really would like to see something like a Galarian Heracross, maybe a Galarian Dunsparce would be really cool. Like Pokemon that have like no evolution, like a single line Pokemon like those Pokemon, like maybe a Galar Bufalant or Galar Tauros that like, you know, maybe gets a bit more of a buff or like, you know, a different role because I would really love to see those Pokemon, you know, be brought back into a more diverse way. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what Pokemon you would give a Galar form if you had the option to. But again, if you haven't been following my social medias and want to know and get to know me more, there's my social medias like my Twitch channel where I have been live streaming a lot listed down below in the description, as well as like my TikTok, Reddit, all that good stuff, Twitter, Instagram, all of those will be linked in the description down below. If you haven't already gone and checked those out, I highly recommend you do so. But otherwise, let's get started and play some games. All right, we got Reginald number 58 to kick off the first battle. We have a Grimmsnarl. Tapu Fini, Landris Farian, Rillaboom, Cinder Ace, and the Celesteela. So this is interesting. I think I want to get Trick Room up. I think I could see Funders absolutely dominating my opponent's team. Yet, I feel like I could also do the same thing with like Slow King Entity if positioned right. And I do kind of like that option, I feel like. Ah, uh, Funders is really good though against my opponent's team, but I really do like Slow King Entity. I think Slow King Entity can both work. Or uh, Thunders or Shifu, which I think works as well. I definitely want to bring Torkoal under Trick Room with Specs Eruption, I feel like. Uh, yeah. I think I'll go Slow King Indidy. Because, like, if I lead Thunderous, I'm probably going to have to lead with Indidy because then I have to deal with the Grim Snarl. Grim Snarl is going to get Reflect up. It's going to be like uh, Thunderous is going to struggle to get KOs immediately. Indidy is going to have to help me hand or follow me the move most likely. And it gives my opponent a bit of room to work with, especially damage output against Indidy. So I think like Slow King ADD just puts on a lot of pressure with like Torkoal. No Lilligan in the back, right? Uh, I don't know if I go Lilligan or do I go Thunderous? You know what? I'll go Lilligan because I might. Because like having Leaf Storm against Tapu Fini is nice. I think the After You could also put in a lot of work. I think After You is really good against my opponent's team in general. So let's try it out. I think Lilligan can put in a good amount of work here as well. I'm hoping to get Slow King under Trick Room and like maybe max the Slow King and go for like Specs Eruptions, which is going to really destroy my opponent, even with, like, Light Screen up. Grim Snarl, Cinder Ace is probably the best lead I could have asked for. I actually do think that is the best lead I could have asked for, as I do lead off with the Indy D and Slow King. So this is perfect. If it was, if it was Thunderous lead with Indy D, I would have struggled because Cinder Ace would be able to out-damage my uh, Indy D if they set Reflect. So this is perfect right here. Because I can Trick Room. And go for to follow me right off the bat. I don't have to worry about getting knocked out or anything. And yeah, I do like that option. I wonder what Sinrace is going to go for. I don't think he would Airstream. Fireball could be a play here. Darkness could be a play too if they have Darkness, which I'd be okay with. Because I have a Cold Rare, so I should easily be able to take the attack. So I'm curious on what they would go for here. I could have also went for like Follow Me Sludge Bomb, but I'm worried if Grimmsnarl and Cinderace double up my Entity Slot with a Spirit Break here. I feel like Light Screen is probably more likely, but I could also see the double up as well. No Dynamax is a very curious decision. All right, so they don't Dynamax makes this interesting. Okay. U-turn. Is this Choice Banded? In a Feeny, potentially? That did a lot of damage. Life Orb. Okay, so it's just Life Orb. U-turn is not something I see on Cinderace. So Feeny's probably coming in, I'm assuming. Uh, Feeny would make a lot of sense because it covers the Psychic Terrain. Although, I'm not sure if I have Expanding Forces in position. We do see the top of Feeny come out. Okay. All right. And we're going to see... Well, Grimstar attacked here, so it went for Spirit Break, most likely. 
Yeah, okay, so that's not a terrible position, I think. Yeah, so Indy goes down. I'm kind of okay with that. I think I get to bring out my Torkoal and get to click... I go for a Eruption right away, because Feeny could Dynamax go for a Max Geyser, for instance. But I think I want to go Torkoal for sure. I just don't know if I want to click Heat Wave. Because I want to click Max Ooze here. Because I think Max Ooze into Feeny with Eruption is going to do a ton of damage. Uh, I might knock out Grim Snarl even through Light Screen. So I do like that option a lot. So I will go for that play, I think. I'll go for the Eruption here. I guess they can have Trick here with Grim Snarl. They're able to trick me now because of the fact that Misty Terrain's up. But I think they would rather get Light Screen up here. Let's see. We will Dynamax our Slow King. And this is kind of what I want to do with the team. Get the Max Ooze off with the Specs Torkoal in Trick Room. It's a mode that I have. And in the Trick Room, this is very threatening. Lilligan with After Use is also a great cleanup game. So uh, let's see what they go for here. As we Dynamax Slow King. Let's see. Gonna be the... Show me light screen. Yep. Okay, light screen's perfect. Okay. And they didn't Dynamax the Feeny, so that puts me in a phenomenal spot because Feeny's taking a bunch of damage from this. So Max Ooze right here. Into the Feeny slot. Oh, we crit the Feeny through light screen. That's kind of unfortunate. Is that Frail Feeny? Because I don't think Max Ooze should even with crit should have knocked out the Feeny at that range. That's very unfortunate for my opponent. I would have been okay with them attacking here. Uh, because I don't think Muddy Water would do that much. If they were going for Calm Mind, that was better for me. Because I got a lot of damage off of the Feeny. And uh, they wouldn't have got any damage off. But yeah, like now I'm just sweeping through their team. Like straight up. Uh, that's a very unfortunate crit. But I feel like if they didn't Dynamax, I wasn't like in a terrible position at all. So Cell Steel is going to come in. Okay. With the Cinder... Yeah, this game I think is over. <laughs> Unless you have Wide Guard Cell Steel. It's... Misty Seed. Yeah, but they can't knock out Torkoal immediately. I'd rather just go for the Max Ooze and I'll go for Eruption again. Because they're forced to Dynamax anyway in this situation. A Cinderace even... Like, I'm wondering. They have to have Wide Guard. If they don't have Wide Guard, I think they just straight up lose here. Do they? I think Max Ooze and Eruption might just do enough to Cinderace. Because it's like... Plus one Max Ooze into a plus two Eruption at full HP. And Cinderace can't knock out Torkoal in one shot because it doesn't have a move that can one shot Torkoal. Like at all. I'm pretty sure that this is a game. Unless they have something else. So Cinderace is going to Dynamax or Gigantamax in this case. It's like their only option. And then let's see what the Cell Seal goes for. Just Protect. Okay. If it was Wide Guard, it was a different story. But Protect is like basically okay. We will be able to get another Max Ooze off. Good damage to Cinderace. This is plus two choice specs. Torkoal in the sun. Eruption into the Cinderace. Is it able to pick up a knockout? It is through light screen and it is resistant, which is a big factor to know. But we will see. I think we'll barely miss a knockout. Yeah, I call it. I call it. Uh, we're going to see the fireball into Torkoal. Oh, they went for the slow king. Did a ton of damage in sun because that's life orb. But unfortunately, even with that... Cinderace goes down, and that is going to be a good game. They don't really have a way to stall out now. I guess I'll go for a plus two expanding force into the... Yeah, I'll go for expanding force, I guess. Or Mindstorm. Get the terrain up. And two turns of Trick Room. I can... They need Wide Guard. They really need Wide Guard. They have to stall it out, but I have Heat Wave in the back as well. So, uh, yeah. This is game over. It just... A very unfortunate crit, but I think overall I would have been fine. I think uh, overall, since they didn't die in Max Feeney, I think that was a big mistake. I'm pretty sure Eruption probably knocked out the Grimstar as well. Due to the choice specs factor and the plus one originally. And I would have done like a lot to Feeney. I think uh, the Max Ooze would have done like... Maybe like... I'd say about like 40-ish percent after the light screen. And then Eruption was probably going to do like 30%. So I would have done a ton of damage to Feeney anyway. So, and the worst I could have done was like, what? Hydro Pump? which probably doesn't have. If it's Choice Specs Muddy Water, maybe a little bit of a different story. But even then, I think they were in a rough spot regardless because I could have preserved Torkoal. I could have Pollen Pup later. So yeah, I think overall, very straightforward game. As I said before, I thought Indy D was really solid with uh, Slow King as a lead. And yeah, I think it was better than like Thunder's Indy D against the Grim Snarl. And luckily that was the case. And yeah, just able to power through. Crit really helped out uh, speed up the game, I guess. But um, overall, I think uh, it was really hard for my opponent to handle at that point. But yeah, 
we're going to move on to our second game and we'll see how it goes. We're currently undefeated with the team. Maybe we'll end off the team undefeated again, or maybe we'll have the last one as a losing one. We'll see. All right, we got Ramune here as our last opponent. I actually forgot to check what the rank was. Spectre and Moltres is not fun though. Spectre and Moltres, Tapu Fini, Reggie Eliki combined with her Shifu and the Whimsicott. Okay. Uh, matchup wise, I think this is going to come down to Sloking lead and don't get flinched because the Thunderous lead gets really out pressured by the Spectriere. As well as like other combinations like Regielic or Shifu is like really annoying because like if it's Choice Banded uh, and Choice Specs would be really difficult to break through. So I think I have to go Sloking Entity here and if they lead Moltres, which is probably their worst lead, like the best lead against me technically, which is my worst case. I just gotta hope I don't get flinched by Fiery Wrath. And unfortunately, that's how the game goes sometimes. I could lead like Lilligan Torkoal, but they could lead Whimsicott, which is a problem. So yeah, I think having Torkoal in the back. I think the last Pokemon though, uh, I think Lilligan again, because like I could go Thunderous, which isn't bad technically. It's like deals with the Moltres. But the thing is, I think like if I want to win the game, Torkoal is really important. And I think if I can set up for like after you Torkoal end game, once I weaken everything with Sloking, I think that's very viable here. So yeah, I'll go for those. Cause I'm thinking I'm Dynamaxing uh, the Sloking once again, going for the Max Ooze strat. Again, the Moltres is going to be the hardest thing I think to beat on their team, especially with like Nasty Plot set up. It's going to be a rough mod to deal with. Cause they can Nasty Plot turn one and I can't punish it. Like I literally can't punish them doing that turn one. So we'll see how this goes. This could also be like a turn one hard Dynamax option and it would be terrible for me. So let's see. They could have Trick on Whimsicott though, which is concerning. It is going to be Reggie Eliki plus the Moltres. Okay, so I think they're going for what? Electroweb, Fiery Wrath here. Hope that double up knocks out Slowking, which it might actually. I always have to follow me because I can't risk some t bolt and Volt Switching. That would just instant lose me the game. But yeah, I got a Trick Room here. And I got to follow me. Luckily, Torkoal can do a lot. But the thing is, I'm not sure how much I'm doing against the Moltres. I still might have to Dynamax the Slow King even after taking a bunch of damage. We will see uh, Follow Me come out. Electroweb. Okay, so they are going for the KO with Fiery Wrath and the... Uh... Oh, I don't know if I live. <sighs> I think it might depend on if it's the life orb. Did you go for Fiery Wrath? Cobra Berry. I need Slow King to get the attack off, please. Please. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay, I got to trick him up. Now what? <laughs> Oh, this is the problem because it's still really tough. I don't know if Expanding Force knocks out the, the Reggie Eliki because I don't know what kind of Reggie Eliki it is. It might be my best interest to hope that it can and get a slack off off. Yeah, they might also protect Moltres to solid turns, but I don't think they would want to give me a free switch. They go for protect. All right. Actually, you know, that works out. That works out because I guess slack off, which means that Sloking should live this upcoming turn. And then I'll be able to max use eruption like my plan was next to Torkoal. And that was the goal in the first place. So that should be fine, assuming I live this attack. Yep, okay. So now I can bring out Torkoal, and then I think I Dynamax Max Ooze Eruption. I think that's the play. Because I gotta boost up Torkoal to hope that I can win this game. Do I heat wave in case they max darkness here is my question. I don't think I do. I think I have to go on the offense here with like max use eruption. Cause like, I don't see how I'm breaking really through the Moltres. Moltres is one tough Pokemon. Uh, I guess I should have led Thunderous in this case. I didn't think they would lead this. Cause like Thunderous might've actually been really good matchup wise. Cause like I could airstream in four situations, but yeah, I mean, I couldn't really tell. And it is what it is right now. So yeah, I got to live with it. Let's see. Well, Dynamax are slow king. Let's see what the Moltres does in counter. Let's see if it Dynamaxes. If it protects, that's a big protect right there for me. And it works out for me because I'm able to get two boosts with Torkoal if that's the case. So, <sighs> we're Dynamax are low HP slow king in hopes of a chance to win. Oh, that's so huge. That's so huge. Unless it's 
Don't tell me it's Sash Regieliki. Please don't be Sash Regieliki. That would be so sad. We are able to get the ooze off into the Moltres, which doesn't do much damage, but that's really important damage. As well as the boost. The boosts are what matters. Please don't be Sash. Anything but Sash right here would be great. If it was Sash, I should have doubled the Regieliki, but I didn't really... I was hoping it wouldn't be Sash. Oh, thank God it's not Sash. Okay. So now I have a plus two eruption that is really threatening to them. I wonder who they'll go out into. They could go out into Feeny and Dynamax the Feeny. I'm not sure if that's worth it for them though. Because Slowking's still a threat. Do I double up the Moltres or do I just eruption? I feel like I double up the Moltres anyway. Because I might get the knockout with plus one ooze into plus two eruption. And I'm going to do a lot to Feeny with the eruption as well. Like, I have Leaf Storm to deal with Feeny in the back, and if Feeny doesn't Dynamax, Muddy Water's not KOing. And if Feeny does Dynamax, they still can't pick up a knockout, so yeah, I think it's better to try and knock out the Moltres if I can knock it out. If they switch out Moltres to preserve it, I guess it's a little bit tricky, because then they protect all out Trick Room, but I still have a Lilligan in the back, thankfully, with After You pressure that I can send out, so I don't think it'd be the end of the world if that's the case. But yeah, thankfully, Slowking might clutch this out. Oh, slack off might have been super clutch. Okay, we do see a Dynamax. Who's the Dynamax? This is really important. Please. Well, if it's Moltres, I'm hoping for the knockout, right? That's basically what it comes down to. If it's a Feeny, I don't mind. I don't mind if it's a Feeny. Because I don't think Feeny can knock out Slowking. You think Geyser knocks out Slowking? I kind of doubt it. If it does, though, it's a little bit concerning. Oh, that's perfect. What? <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, that's so good for me because I get a free max ooze into the Moltres. Oh, that's amazing. Who's our last then? Berserk doesn't change anything. Here comes Eruption once again. Goodbye, Moltres. Wow, I've gotten like two turns correctly, which is amazing. And who's the last Pokemon? Let's see the last Pokemon. Show me your last Pokemon. I will gladly take whatever you have in the back. Spectrier. I don't think this is Sash Spectrier on this team. No way. Support Spectrier doesn't make much sense on the team. It's more likely Sash Whimsicott or Sash Other Things. So I'm going to go for Eruption and uh, Max Ooze. If they have Protect, they have Protect. I double up the Fiend regardless. They don't. Oh, this is huge. So I get a Max Ooze off in the Fiend. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. That's insane. Is it Citrus? I might knock out with Eruption. Oh. Do not, do not sleep on Slow King, ladies and gentlemen. That is a victory. And that is a 6-0 on Bex Bex Battles. The team went undefeated. Like, actually, I didn't play a single game before, which I probably should have. And I didn't play any games in between. But that's a 6-0, my friends. That is a 6-0. Oh, man. Team was fun. Where did I end up? I started this, I think, like, in the thousands? Where did I end up? Pretty good. Pretty good. I was, like, decently low before. But, like, yeah. I climbed up with this T. This T put it worked. Sloking was really fun. Lilligan impressed me a lot, actually. Lilligan with the Leaf Storm, as well as like After You, which was actually clutch in a game. And the Pollen Puff, which actually was super sick, I felt like. And also like being able to resist uh, ground moves, which I think is nice to have on the team in general. And yeah, oh man, it was really fun. I really did enjoy this team. I really did. And I felt like that last game, I felt like I played the best of what I needed to do. I went for like the turn one. I had to hope for it, I guess. I guess the only thing I could have done better was like lead Thunderous, but then it gets a little bit tricky afterward. But yeah, I think uh, if I let Thunderous might have been a different game. I think Thunderous would have been able to do super well against my opponent because Airstream was really hard for them to stop, I think. Um, but overall, yeah, I mean, with what I had based on leads, turn one went for what I had to go for. It pretty much covered every option and luckily uh, Slowking was able to live. Turn two was able to get the slack off, which was super clutch as they KO'd Entity, uh, which was fantastic because I was then able to get Torko out and then start oozing. 
again i'm i actually am curious on the moltres cow because i actually don't know the moltres cow i was just kind of like hoping for it at this, that point of, like being able to knock out the moltres but like yeah dynamax the low hp sloking to pick up a victory and i was like able to get the targets like on correct like i don't think even if like let's say the top of Fini max out, i don't think that turn i don't think the top of Fini like uh even if i max this into that slot i'm pretty sure that torquil just knocked out the tor uh knocked out the moltres with eruption anyway but i guess they didn't know it was choice max torquil at that point but yeah and that is going to be the end of the galarian slow king team wow i am surprised we went 6-0 on bexwick battles with the team and i actually was not expecting i really did not think we were going 6-0 with the team that the team actually did a lot more work than i thought it would have like i thought we would have some problems i thought there was going to be some bad positioning problems that i was going to have overall but sometimes how the modes work but overall it was very solid if you do want to try it out again the rental code is available in the description down below you have two weeks to grab it but otherwise there is a pacement of the team available in the description down below for all of you to grab but otherwise you can while you're down there of course if you haven't already be sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below and you know subscribe if you haven't already especially if you enjoyed the content it really does help out the channel and hit that bell notification to get alerted on whenever the latest videos come out but while you're down there you can also check out all my social medias as i said before you can check out my twitch channel where i do live stream and you know follow my other stuff like my twitter my instagram my tiktok if you want to see more content from me make sure you go check out those platforms but otherwise yeah you can also join our community discord also listed down below the description but yeah thank you to everyone who tuned in have a great day people and until we bow again i'll catch y'all later